Well, 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 what have we here? We are actually on the plains of Oklahoma today in a veritable ghost town outside Bartlesville where the National Weather Service has highlighted this area as they weren't exactly specific, but they said it was a uh, area where something could happen so they have assigned me out here to see if anything does happen. Uh, as you can see though, we do have some kind of a lowering potential wall cloud here um, with some good inflow going into the storm so if anything does happen well we will let you know. So we have decided under the belief that we might be seeing some kind of tornadic activity out in this area to send out a probe thinking maybe we will get some kind of deployment. Now, as we scope the area, I do feel like I can see some rotational features in here, but nothing that really screams tornadic yet. Um, definitely getting some good convective activity for sure though. So, we're definitely getting some good info into the storm. We got uh, dew points last I heard about 71, and humidity is about 94%. So, I don't know, maybe something will happen. National Weather Service certainly seems uh, keen on the idea. So I've been waiting out here for a couple of minutes now. I did get a report from the National Weather Service that there was a, um... And this is as I heard it, at least. A, um... A small multi-vortex tornado reported... A few miles outside the area I'm currently in. Just a few... Just a few... Me... Me... Three, four, five minutes ago. Supposedly it didn't last very long though, so uh, maybe that's an indication we'll see something here. What do you think? We you think uh, they're right on about something? Okay, so the National Weather Service has released a message saying that there is a tornado warning for my area. Um, so far they're saying it's just Doppler indicated right now. Um, nothing cited yet. I have been able to tell. I've been repositioning every so often to see if I notice anything, but nothing too significant yet. Um, I don't know. I have seen a slight increase in rotation, though, for sure. So maybe we're close to getting something. So, once again, we've repositioned. I do have a feel feeling about this area right over here. I do feel like something could happen. Um, I do see a little green building in. Um, definitely the chance for some hail, if uh, we're not careful with that. Um, you all want to excuse the bugging numbers, that's uh, not consistent with storm-related winds, more as it is just some technical bugs that can't seem to work out with it, but don't worry about it. Oh, we got something! We got something big building in, we gotta go! Oh, we have a wedge tornado foreman. Holy crap. Okay, definitely reposition. My probe's definitely catching a nice view of it. With the probe cam. Oh, debris! Oh, crap. Oh, 
no, look at all the debris, holy nonsensicalness. Okay, repositioning. Got more debris from something, holy crapaholics. That's definitely at least half a mile to a mile wide, that thing. Wow. Oh, no! What the heck is it hitting? Okay, I might be getting a pro deployment here. Yes! Oh! Holy crap! What are we getting? 35 miles an hour, that's it? Okay, oh, it's just bang, that's why. Wow. Okay, here's the, the, some of the damage areas we've uh, encountered so far. Wow. Okay, right off the bat, I'm definitely seeing three, maybe four level damage. So definitely at least 165, 170, so definitely at least a uh, four line three, four. Although we have this, which... No, it's definitely at least a borderline 3-4. Especially by what I'm seeing so far. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just found the remains of my probe. The thing has been stripped. On top of that, we have the remains of a farm. Based on what I've seen, perhaps the first area we saw was one in the tornado was originally in its weaker, more formative stage. However, over here, that's definitely at least a high end of four. So definitely upwards of 195 miles an hour is what we're probably seeing here. Um, it could have been different if maybe I had ca caught my probe a little sooner, but see the measurements we we're getting from this thing, but oh well, what can you do? So I've taken this quick break to fetch a backup storm probe I had on hand at a local storm shelter, which... I suppose I should be thankful knowing that people staying there decided to bug around with my equipment, but... But hey, um... At least it was at a safe place where I know it wouldn't get damaged because of the weather. So as I brief you on the current situation, we've re repositioned just outside this gas station. I've decided to deploy my probe just on the outskirts of a field. So, we can now get a nice view of the gas station should a tornado come in that direction and we get a nice shot of it being destroyed. However, the National Weather Service did let me know that uh, the storm does seem to be weakening because there's a, a second cell building in behind it, possibly undercutting it with um, Outflow, so we'll have to see what happens. Okay, new tornado development. Okay, this appears so far smaller in comparison to what we've seen already. Start with it. Okay, let's see what this thing does.
Okay, we're losing visual on this thing. We need to move. And just so we're clear, the debris you're seeing is from the last tornado. Likely it's not from this current tornado. Might be lucky if we get a intercept here. Let's see if it happens. Maybe not. Well, the news is I did not see any debris flying. So it is unknown to as to how strong that tornado was, but naturally you would then give it a preliminary ring of F0. So as I relocated, I had a little time to look at recent Dop Doppler radar data. The cell I was on, as well as a cell, secondary cell that was built in behind it, appeared to have slowed down and had merged. Which, to me, is oddly reminiscent of what happened in Reno back in 2013 before, well, you know what happened. Well, I'm sure you know what happened by now, but... So... The combination of the storms has actually re-intensified... ...this one event, so... ...whether or not it cultivates something happening... ...time was out. So I do feel like we are currently seeing... Some reinvigorated rotation currently. I do actually find myself at a trailer park at the moment. Hoping to see whether or not um, we get a tornado forming coming through here at all. Uh, it has been said trailer parks are tornado magnets. But I mean, really, do you guys think that's true? Feel free to let me know what you think, trailer parks. Trail parks are trail magnets. Okay, we've got something bowing in he in here somewhere. We got wind speeds increasing. Oh boy. Uh, that's coming this way, I think. This place has a safe room. I'm going to have to hide in here. Oh, here it comes. Okay, I think it's over now. Wow.
Now that was nasty. Well, there's my truck. Wow. Now that was something else. What I'm seeing is indicative of a definitely at least a strong FV, I want to say about 155 miles an hour. Definitely at least that. And uh oh. It seems tornado development has continued. Coming down. We will have to, uh... Well, I suppose we are the tow truck today. We'll have to see what this thing, next thing does. Looking to get an intercept. There we go, we got nicked. fellas. Well. <sighs> now, while I review the weather radar to what happens next, we'll see if this thing keeps producing. If not, it might mean it's dying. Let me go review the weather weather radar real quick. Well, the system appears to be weakening again, so um, we have more areas of potential interest building in behind it in other counties, so I think we will move on to those counties. And I think we will be, uh, we might see you there. Thank you for joining on this chase. Feel free to drop a like if you did enjoy what you saw. And, uh, hope you will tune in on our new Storm Chasing Adventures. And that's right, you heard me right? Our new Storm Chasing Adventures.